Yeah, there are two or three that uh, I would point to. We did a, a biographical film on Elvis that brought Kurt Russell up from the ranks of a Disney player in the flubber, rubber, dubber, funny movies he was doing. And said, how can he be Elvis Presley? Well, he had it. And a talent lady found him and said, he's perfect, and it started his career. The other one I'm very proud of was an after-school special, uh, a thing called uh, The Woman Who Willed a Miracle. Uh, it, we had very little budget. Cloris Leachman starred in it. It was, about, it was a true story about an idiot savant who was cerebral palsied and blind. Very uplifting story of how this woman took him, raised him, nurtured him, uh, gave him a life. And it eventually uh, did very well. But I remember, and this is a business lesson, I'm on location, on a phone. A network executive who will remain nameless because at this moment he's still around. He's a friend of mine. Not too smart, but he's a friend of mine. Called me and said, this is the worst piece of trash I've ever seen. And we were all thrilled with it. I said, you what? Huh, what? This is never going to come together. It's junk. How could you do this to me? I said, you, sir, are mistaken. Not only, not only are that, you shouldn't be in the job you're in. We're going to deliver it to you. Don't darken my door again. The show went on to win every award ever, the Peabody Award, the writers, the directors, Emmys, I think 17 individual awards. It was a classic, and it's still, I point to it with great pride. Now, another interesting silence where the little bile comes out when you're in the public eye. Some bonehead had the guts to write a critique and, and was glowing, wonderful, wonderful. Idiot. And then it said, and how could something this good be connected to a guy like Dick Clark? I'm saying, no wonder you're a peon at a broken down manual typewriter somewhere working your brains out for bupkis. He must think I, I was stupid or unimaginative. He had the wrong impression. That offended me. I never, never called him, never wrote him. You don't do anything with those people, but you do develop an impression. People think, well, he's a disc jockey, plays records, kids dance. He doesn't got any brains. And that I had to get over. That's when I got into heavy duty producing. We, I think we've done. I've lost track, seven or 8,000 hours of television at this point, and that's a lot. And it's in virtually everything there is, with the exception of soap operas and news. And even there, we dabbled in what I'll call friendly news, as it's known today, or uh, non-news. We, we have been involved in it all.